Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Modon, and I'm going to be doing the next episode of Battlefield News, a video series where I'll be talking about changes and or events within a particular Battlefield title. So without further ado, let's get started. So of course, starting things off, let's talk a little bit about the Mobile Commander, considering that this is going to be a feature that is going to be disabled as of August 11th. So of course, if you do currently have it downloaded on your phone, may that be on the Android or iOS system, you do currently have the ability to play as a commander using your phone or tablet. However, However, if you are somebody that hasn't exactly done that yet or you didn't download it in the last year and a half, this is actually something that you don't have the ability to download anymore considering that they discontinued the feature April 28th of 2015. Now of course what this means is if you are playing on your console or your PC, you still will have the ability to jump in a game as a commander. The commander feature is not completely discontinued by itself, however it is more discontinued or will be discontinued on the iOS or Android operating system, so of course a lot of this stuff is going going to be in reference to tablets and phones by itself, but of course if you are playing on your console or PC, you still will have the ability to continue playing as the commander and hopefully leveling up your character. Now of course, transferring over to the community test environment, these are going to be some prototypes that we're going to be discussing. Now of course, this is patch number 45 of the community test environment, which we'll be talking about the map scale, as well as some references to weapon balance. So of course, in the past, we really haven't talked too much about this, but I figured it'd be a great opportunity to jump right into it. Starting things off on the weapons. Fixed an issue with suppressed AN94 sounds resetting after spawn. Fixed optics on Groza 1 and Groza 4. Fixed flashlight lens flares on L86 and AN94. Fixed magnifer bug with the animation from the magnifer loop when activating. Adjusted DMR and PDW tracers for readability. Fixed magazine size of UI for L86 and Groza 4. Disabled bipod for AN94. Fixed mare's leg accuracy issue. Increased the minimum zoom angle from 0.1 to 0.2, and increased zoom increase per shot to 0.4 and decreased max fall off damage from 60 to 45. Audio updates Adding new AN94 standard and silenced weapon fire sounds. Gunmaster updates Added infinite ammo symbol when in the HUD for the weapons applicable. Team balancer Improved the skill balancer so that it can ensure that the team compatibility is not exceeded during the end of round balancing process. And finally, bug fixes. PlayStation 3, optimized operation locker memory, textures, and transition issues. Pearl Market, optimized memory allocation. Paracel Storm, optimized road decals previously causing issues. Fix the issue where tarps and flags across the game were warping really weirdly and too much. And last but not least, single player slash achievements. Fixed issue where achievements were applied to a secondary profile incorrectly. But anyway guys, that's really all the information I have for you. Of course, if you guys would like to read all the articles for yourself, feel free to check the description of the video considering I will have them linked down there for your viewing pleasure. But until the next episode guys, this has been NMO, and I'm going to be signing out guys. Peace.